So the patient we operated on was a young lady who is a student. She's had an unfortunate problem with uh, patellofemoral instability and resultant cartilage damage as a result of multiple dislocations in both knees. So she'd had three prior surgeries on each knee um, at attempts to stabilize her, her extensor mechanism from dislocating as well as repair the cartilage damage. And uh, she would basically had uh, uh, lateral release and a VMO uh, advancement on both knees uh, with cartilage repair consisting of uh, an oats plug to the patella of both uh, in combination with a microfracture. Her preoperative workup included an MRI scan and a CT scan. And the MRI scan is very helpful for looking at articular cartilage. Uh, the CT scan is helpful for looking at the shape of the trochlea. What I do is with the leg in full extension, I have the patient uh, first relax to identify where the patella rests and then contract their quads. And in somebody with uh, instability, you'll often see the patella just frankly dislocate or subluxate, which we found with her. Um, and that usually tells you there's a dysplastic trochlea and an abnormal quadriceps angle. So uh, that you'll have to address uh, at least the quadriceps angle through a tibial tubercle osteotomy uh, and possibly the trochlea as well. For me, the go-to in the patellofemoral joint is uh, tolicus cultured chondrocytes with Macy. The other option would be a fresh matched osteoarticular allograft, uh, but here you'd have to do bipolar transplants, patella and trochlea, and uh, with a dysplastic uh, trochlea, it's hard to uh, put an inset dowel technique uh, for the trochlea. So you'd have to take the entire trochlea off um, and do a uh, matched um, patellar resurfacing and matched trochlear resurfacing from a single donor patient. And with those larger allografts, there's a higher risk of resorption and collapse of the allograft. So uh, the go-to for me is uh, Macy and the patellofemoral joint. Indication for use. Macy, autologous cultured chondrocytes on porcine collagen membrane, is an autologous cellularized scaffold product that is indicated for the repair of single or multiple symptomatic full thickness cartilage defects of the adult knee with or without bone involvement. Macy is intended for autologous use and must only be administered to the patient for whom it was manufactured. The implantation of Macy is to be performed via an arthrotomy to the knee joint under sterile conditions. The amount of Macy administered is dependent upon the size, surface in centimetre squared, of the cartilage defect. The implantation membrane is trimmed by the treating surgeon to the size and shape of the defect to ensure the damaged area is completely covered and implanted cell side down. Limitations of use Effectiveness of Macy in joints other than the knee has not been established. Safety and effectiveness of Macy in patients over the age of 55 years have not been established. Important safety information. Macy is contraindicated in patients with a known history of hypersensitivity to gentamicin, other aminoglycosides or products of porcine or bovine origin. Macy is also contraindicated for patients with severe osteoarthritis of the knee inflammatory arthritis, inflammatory joint disease, or uncorrected congenital blood coagulation disorders. Macy is also not indicated for use in patients who have undergone prior knee surgery in the past six months. Excluding surgery to procure a biopsy or a concomitant procedure to prepare the knee for a Macy implant. Macy is contraindicated in patients who are unable to follow a physician-prescribed post-surgical rehabilitation program. The safety of Macy in patients with malignancy in the area of cartilage biopsy or implant is unknown. Expansion of present malignant or dysplastic cells during the culturing process or implantation is possible. Patients undergoing procedures associated with Macy are not routinely tested for transmissible infectious diseases. A cartilage biopsy and Macy implant may carry the risk of transmitting infectious diseases to healthcare providers handling the tissue. Universal precautions should be employed when handling the biopsy samples and the Macy product. Final sterility test results are not available at the time of shipping. In the case of positive sterility results, healthcare provider or providers will be contacted. To create a favourable environment for healing, concomitant pathologies that include meniscal pathology, 
cruciate ligament instability and joint misalignment must be addressed prior to or concurrent with the implantation of MACI. Local treatment guidelines regarding the use of thromboprophylaxis and antibiotic prophylaxis around orthopaedic surgery should be followed. Use in patients with local inflammations or active infections in the bone, joint and surrounding soft tissue should be temporarily deferred until documented recovery. The EMACI implant is not recommended during pregnancy. For implantations post-pregnancy, the safety of breastfeeding to infant has not been determined. Use of MACI in paediatric patients younger than 18 years of age or patients over 65 years of age has not been established. The most frequently occurring adverse reactions reported for MACI greater than 5% were arthralgia, tendinitis, back pain, joint swelling and joint effusion. Serious adverse reactions reported for MACI were arthralgia, cartilage injury, meniscus injury, treatment failure and osteoarthritis. For more information or to view full prescribing information, please go to macy.com.